I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. I work at the University of Colorado Boulder, formerly at UC Berkeley and UCLA. One of the most memorable, unique scenes in Old Norse literature finds Odin in disguise posing riddles to King Haethric in the saga of Hervor and Haethric. In this scene, a man named Gestumblindi, literally something like Gestblind, sacrifices to Odin when his enemy, King Haethric, summons him to court to be tried for his crimes. The night before his co court appearance, o Odin appears knocking at his door and then trades clothes with him, going in his place to King Haethric's court the next day. Now, King Haethric allowed men to forego a regular trial by allowing them to pose riddles to him. Any man who could pose a riddle to King Haethric that King Haethric could not solve could be forgiven for even the most heinous of crimes. So now Odin appears in the court of King Haethric and proposes trial by riddle to which King Haethric readily agrees. And now I'm going to read you a sample of a few of these riddles from my upcoming translation of the Saga of Rolf Kraki with the Saga of Herbor and Haethric, which will appear from Hackett probably in 2019 or 2020. Here's a typical example of one of Odin or Gestumblindi's riddles. I left my home, I made a journey from home, and I saw a road of roads. There was a road under it, a road over it, and a road on every side. King Haethric, consider the riddle. And I'll give you a moment or two to consider the riddle too. Your riddle is good, Gestumblindi, and I've guessed it, says Haethric. You walked on a bridge over a river there, and there was a river, which is a road, on, under you, and birds flew over your head on both sides of you, and those were their roads. And then here, in my opinion, is the best quality riddle, and a reminder that ravens can be both black, svartr, and blue, blower, in Old Norse poetry. What is this wonder that I saw outside, before the doors of a mine? It was harder than horn, blacker than a raven, whiter than a shield, and straighter than a spear. King Haethric, consider this riddle. Your riddles are getting worse, Gestumblindi, says Haethric. How much time do I need to sit over this one? It's obsidian, and a ray of sunlight is shining on it. And now here's just a truly weird one to finish this off. I saw going by me a resident of the dirt, a corpse sat on a corpse. A blind one rode on a blind one to the sea, a horse without breath. King Haethric, consider the riddle. Your riddle is good, Gestumblindi, and I've guessed it. You saw a dead horse there on an ice floe, and there was a dead worm on the horse, and all of it was being carried along on the river. Yes, the dead horse on an ice floe in the riddle is a dead horse on an ice floe in the answer. But finally, Odin wins the contest with the unsolvable question that he also uses to win his contest with Vafthrudnir in the poem Vafthrudsmal in the Poetic Edda. What did Odin say in Baldur's ear before he put him on the funeral pyre? And of course, upon saying that, Haethric realizes this is Odin, swings for him with the cursed sword Tyrving, but Odin turns into a hawk, and so the sword only cuts off the tail feathers of Hawk Odin. And at that point, Odin curses him to be killed by slaves, which will happen shortly thereafter in the saga of Hervor and Haethric. For now, from beautiful Arizona, I'm wishing you all the best. I saw going by me a page that's missing. <laughs> Can we go find it? <sighs> Where do you have it? I don't have it. Uh, you think it's in the car? Yeah. All right. I'll... All right. Let me try it one more time. Yeah. Just the only thing I would have complained about there yeah. is if you're trying to sound like me, it's guest and blindy. Guest and blindy. Guest and blindy. Yeah. What did I do that time? You said guest and blindy. Okay. Guest and blindy. I said guest and the other stuff. The yeah. lighting is really good right now, actually. It is, actually. I'm, I'm pleased with it. Okay. I kind of want to see if I can get some still photos, too, because this, this would be a good photo of you, just with the bricks and the cliffs in the background. Of you, you mean? Is this... I'm so... I'm sorry. I, I'm so, like... My brain is totally mashed potatoes on what Black Mirror episode this is, right? Yeah. I'm going to try it one more time because I stumbled. And I'm going to keep saying one more time until I'm happy with it. Guest and blind. Guest and blind. <laughs> Maybe you sh maybe I should just go like this. And you'll just <laughs> say <laughs> you'll just say guess who me. They direct court as him the next day. I think the one right before this is actually smoother. Okay. Well, I'm done. <laughs>